Hello learners and welcome to a quick little demonstration dealing with capacitors. So this might look like a jumbled mess but it is very organized meticulous chaos. So if you look up here I've got this positive wire coming into this positive lead and this positive wire here is connected to the positive end of my battery. So the current is flowing in to this point. Now the way this breadboard works is anything that's connected in this row along here is connected to each other. So even though I don't have these two wires coupled together, they are still connected. So this red wire runs along here and it jumps into my first row, which that current flows into this capacitor. Now, that, that capacitor has the current flowing through to this wire, which flows to that capacitor, and then along this wire to that capacitor. Now, I've also got this resistor in here and this resistor is connected to this lead which is just coming off over here. The current is actually going to flow out to this point because this is where the negative end of my battery is. So initially whenever I charge up my capacitors the resistor isn't part of the circuit because if the current would flow through the resistor it would come into this point and then it wouldn't really have anywhere to go. And so it's not part of the circuit. Now I'm going to make it part of the circuit, but first I need to charge up my uh, capacitors. So to do that, I'm going to take this end and I'm going to connect it to the negative end of my battery. After we do that, we're going to charge up my capacitors. Now, if you look, how I, how I have these capacitors arranged, there's only one way for that current to flow. It has to flow through this capacitor, and then it has to flow through that capacitor, and then it has to flow through that capacitor. Because there's only one way for the current to flow, we say that those capacitors are connected in series. Now, I've also got a couple wires over here. Those wires are connected to a differential voltmeter. Now, if you look, the voltmeter has a lead coming out and then another lead coming out across the resistor. To measure voltage you've got to measure across something meaning that your voltmeter needs to be connected in parallel with your circuit. Now I'm going to complete the circuit here and record what happens to the voltage across my uh, resistor here. So here we go. If you look, I have a voltage, and now that voltage across the resistor is gradually approaching zero. And if you look, look how smooth and sexy that is. That voltage behaves that way because those capacitors are discharging themselves, and they're running across that resistor, giving us a very nice potential verse time graph.